Hey, welcome to the show. Just a little kind of a rant type of uh, episode. I love how economists online and on TV, whether it be online or actually TV, uh, like to sit there and not really say anything about the supply chain, but they always talk about how much there's too much money in the, in, in, uh, in the system. I, I recently saw a a uh, quote uh, of some kind. It was um basically saying that money. Oh no, it was money used to have an expiration date, which meant that it was no longer useful as far as you know spending in the economy. So they automatically, you know, they automatically basically uh took it out of the system through, through taxation. And that got me thinking. Well, in that case, all the tax, all the uh, days of taxing in regards to federal um, taxes, taxes are basically what they would call the expiration date for a percentage of the the income in the United States. So I'm like, okay, that, that makes more sense. You know, if you put it in that, but if you put it in that direction. That's the reason why a lot of these, uh, when you put in, when you put money in U.S. Treasuries, that kind of that kind of resets the day because then you're putting money into something that may have a longer, a longer lifespan, a uh, mature a uh, mature rate, uh, which then also builds its own uh, version of, of a, a value to it as well. Which once that uh, that Treasury is uh, cashed out or redeemed, then the then the the uh, the expiration date uh, kind of then becomes a, another one for like the say the year after or something like that until it goes into other investments. Which in that case, if you invest that money into something else, that money is already gone anyway. So it goes into investment, like labor materials for labor to be used, stuff of that nature. So either way, money has an uh, has a expiration date. It just depends on what. The expiration date is used on as far as whether it be taxation or be consuming or if it's uh, investment. Either way, because it has to be spent into the into the economy, no matter what year, no matter what century, uh, uh, a monetary authority has to get a liability for the consumers or for the citizens to be able to pay for their own personal liabilities and therefore at a certain time have to have some of their liabilities taken away. Um, and so MMT it states that if you do focus spending on Green New Deal, Medicare for All, and stuff of that nature, then you then... Make your make healthcare better for people. You effectively get uh, envir environmental crisis like at least going in the right direction instead of in the wrong direction, and that would lead to expiration dates for all those businesses. And those all those businesses would then create those jobs, then you know uh, help those people out, and and those costs would be then put back in and taxed out as well. So it doesn't matter where the money goes; it has an expiration date. So it just depending on when the dollar expires. In other words, you know what what was used for. Either way, it has to be it has an expiration date, one way or the other. It just depends on supply chain. Supply depending on if you invest in the supply chain in some way. Depend on if you. You know, have it taxed out through some form of taxation. Either way, it gets out of the system. Now, a lot of those treasuries and bonds and other things they have a mature date. That's it's that's that's uh, that expiration date. Either way, debt expires one way or the other. And since the Fed uh, tends to count both deposits as debt, issuances as debt. And redemptions as debt, either way, it's a debt. So when someone in the mainstream media uh, wants to call, uh, say, the national debt is getting too high, that means there's a lot more money put into U.S. treasuries 
as like business investments, as government investments, U.S. governments do have non-marketable uh, government securities, which also take well, the higher interest rates, uh, which are a guaranteed fixed interest rate. No matter what the what the Fed actually sets the interbank, uh, meaning loans, uh, interbank rate at. And that's where it gets expensive for us because when the supply chain is down and out and inventories at retail stores are not as high, they will take advantage of that and will bring up prices because they don't have much of it so they can price set it. Uh, but there's when there's too much inventory, they kind of have to get rid of it because then that means they also have to pay taxes on shelf, uh, shelf rate. So, I mean, either way, if they if they if they sell uh, if they sell their inventory that is low, then they still either way get the product out. But that also means that they then have to focus on different products. Maybe they have one in the back, you know, a, a backup product kind of thing, and get that out. You know, stuff of that nature. If their inventories are high, that means that prices will more likely be low because that's inventory they have to sell, so they make money. Um. Anyway, that's the, that's why I was going with that part. <laughs> you know, people who own U.S. Uh, uh, treasuries, bonds, or whatever else, they tend to spend it either way, and those tend to be taxed out unless you have permission, like tax cuts, to keep that money. And then you take those cat tax cuts more likely and give it to the same people who just voted for you to keep it. So, I'm anyway. This guy going off on that on tangent there. Uh, so and, and also, uh, ever since Peter Schiff failed as a bank owner and had to go back to uh, a broker, I think because he's he's a diehard Austrian economist, supposed uh, that. I think that he has shown that Austrian economics does not work. That's why majority of them are in fixed fund type jobs. That's why, because either way they get paid, and then they try to figure out other, you know, other fixed incomes for their clients to have, you know, to try and make up for what they lost, if they lost anything. Either way, point being is. It seems like Austrian uh, economics does not work. It seems like friction. Uh, 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 was it frictional? I think it's frictional. Uh, uh, fractional. Excuse me. <laughs> fractional. Uh, a fractional uh, banking. Uh, reserve banking does not work either because I think that his bank was trying to do that, but they wound up actually. That was the method they tried to use with uh, as far as like thousand or millions of dollars of fucking deposits um he wound up actually using those as for operational purposes they said uh by mistake he had to sell a lot of his uh gold in order to pay them back and pay a fine he was deemed insolvent so yeah i would probably say that um what do you call that not fiscal finance, uh, functional finance is a lot more superior than that. Charterism with that is a lot more, you know, a lot more effective than that. Uh, anybody who wants to claim that the Fed is printing money, they don't. They asset swap and stuff of that nature, but they don't actually print money. Um, they redeem, um, treasuries which are done at banks i believe and those banks give them the money but it's all on it's all on daily daily banking clearing kind of thing anyway so uh those for that's for those who think that mmt is bunk when regular economic systems have flunked um i mean uh, Milton Friedman, uh, like three years before he died, said that his his uh quantity of money theory 
was not successful. In fact, there was uh, a story in, um, in The Guardian that I've shared many times online because it's one of those like braggadocious moments for me. Um, and, and at least in my mind, anyway. Uh, uh, him saying that he he was offered to be involved in a debate about between his theory and like another theory, and he chose not to. In fact, he signed a uh, a letter to uh, to the parliament at that time, saying that he um, that he's back, he basically backing away, rescinded his thoughts on um, Thatcherism, which was basically his theory. So he backed up on his theory, which of course nobody in mainstream media wanted to admit that share that nothing of that nature so when steve grumbine uh status quo a few years ago uh, no, years ago jesus uh, a few weeks ago mentioned it i i looked it up and i was like oh shit that's that's true he did in a couple different um articles i think one was for either forbes or fortune and the other one was for uh the guardian uh wait um it was a fiscal time. I'm sorry. It was fiscal time, I believe, it was for. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Uh, don't forget, I have a fundraiser on Facebook. Let me see if I can actually pull that up and I can show you. And let's see. Go with this and go with this. And go with this. Ah, no one. <laughs> there we go. Where would that be? Oh, here we go. Yep, there we go. So forty bucks so far, but this is this is that whole thing. Uh, can I refresh this? Oh, fifty. There we go. So that's what I'm doing. This is a month long one, and if it gets to two hundred, I'm going to extend it, obviously. But uh, for those who have uh, donated, thank you very much for it. Real Progressives, thank you, thank you for it. And you can check out more of this stuff at realprogressives.org. Um, let's see, was there anything else? Uh, uh, there's a program uh, note that I'll be sharing at some point later on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening in this case as well. Uh, donate. Uh, whatever you can as far as this part goes I'll put the link in the description below uh, but again thanks for watching thanks for listening and learn MMT it's I mean uh, I think Warren Mosler who was actually one of the prime architects behind MMT said that his part of it was based on his experience from a couple of markets and so I looked at what a couple of market was and went, oh, that does make sense. A lot of, a lot of it anyway. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching, listening, subscribe. Go to reportcast.org. And don't forget, I do still, I will still be doing um, uh, textbook MMT in my Patreon at patreon.com slash <clears throat> um, you down MMT uh, after I get a little better anyway. Not sure what's going on, but oh well. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like. Tell me to go F myself. Whatever the case may be is up to you. Uh, but donate. Uh, go my go to uh, if you have Cash App. If you want, if you do want to donate to me anyway, go to Cash App. Uh, cash dot app, I believe slash uh, money sign. Uh, you down MMT. Now become Patreon at patreon.com slash you down MMT. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for listening. Peace out for now.